105 feet tall. 95 degree vertical drop. Two LSM launches. Two inversions. 70 miles per hour max speed. 4,450 feet of track. Opened in 2007. Can you guess the coaster? If you guys were thinking Maverick at Cedar Point, then you were correct. Maverick is an amazing Intamin Blitz coaster at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. This is one of my favorite coasters of all time, and it is very respected as one of the best coasters in America. And definitely one of the best Intamins probably ever. This coaster is a Intamin model Blitz. It was made, and it was, like I said, opened in 2007. It's an interesting coaster, and um, it's amazing. It's just, I'll get more into that here in a minute. But today, I'm just going to be going over a quick little episode about, um, just about this coaster and why it is my favorite coaster of all time. So, we're going to watch this little thing here. It goes up, over. It's like this coaster, so there's just, everyone should love this coaster. There's just a few things. So, I know you can see it does a lot of switchbacks and stuff, so just be prepared for that. That's really the only thing I can say. So, let's get into theming. So, what we have here is we're going to go over the theming of this coaster. Maverick is a obviously a roller coaster located in the back half of Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Toward the back, that area is called, um, it is called Frontier Town, which it's themed around the Frontier, Wild West. Seal Vengeance is back there, Maverick's back there, a few other things. But as you can see, it says the Old West has never been this wild. There's a horse. So it's really Old West themey, kind of mashed with steampunk, I guess you could say. Maybe. No? I don't know. But, yeah. So you start here in this little building, and you walk through some wooden platforms, and then you go into this room, where it's just a covered queue, I guess you could say. Where it goes back and forth and back and forth a bunch of times under here. And this is really about all the queue there is. I mean, it goes up that path a little bit, but there's not... This is really about all there is. And I know that doesn't look like a lot, but it took like an hour just to get through that thing with my friend. So, once you get up to the top, you're greeted with the cars, you're at the station, you got your air gates. You can get on the cars and see what you mean by... If you look at the cars, they kind of look, I don't know, somewhat steampunkish. They're just, I don't know, they look pretty cool. So once you get up there, you can get on your ride, and then you go. So there's also rocks here that go through like that, like an old frontier kind of out west area. And then there's also this tunnel thing here. It goes into the tunnel and stops. It's got some railroad crossing signs, flashing lights. And then you get hydraulic launched out of the tunnel 70 miles an hour at around in like around three seconds, I believe. I think that's what it was. It's, it's like a shed kind of. It. it Kind of reminds me of Mystic Timbers from King's Island, but not really. So, and then, yeah, you can go down here above some water. You go through some more rocks, and there's kind of an older-looking building before it goes over there. There's some switchbacks. But I'm not really 100% sure what this coaster was trying to do for theming. It's, it's like a mixture of Wild West, Steampunk, and a few other things. I mean, it, I guess it's cool. But theming... Honestly, it's not the best, but it, it does have a lot more theming than a lot of the coasters in the park, so I'll give it that. So now let's go on to the ride. So this, like I said before, is one of my... Well, no, not one of my... It, it is my all-time favorite roller coaster, and I've ridden probably around 40, 30, 40 roller coasters. I know it's not that many. I'm just recently really getting into coasters. but And yes, I've ridden Steel Vengeance, and it, this is still ahead of Steel Vengeance for me. So, I'm sorry, but this is my favorite roller coaster. You can get mad at me, it's fine. But, so, I'm going to walk you through the ride. So, once you get up through the air gates and you get in your car, all the, um, the uh, what am I, called? I can't talk right now. The operators and the, um, the operators and dispatchers lock you down and once you're in your seats, the, the restraints are okay. It, they could be more comfortable, yes, but... If you can get past that like I can, you'll be fine. So, you get out, and basically you just go ahead like maybe 10 feet, and then you go straight up into this lift. This is the first LSM launch. Yeah, it's not really, I don't know if it's barely considered a launch, but you get launched up this hill, only 105 feet, 
And then once you go over the top, you go straight down, further than straight down, at 95 degrees. Take a sharp right with banking, straightens out, take left, banking, right. Those are what can kind of hurt. And here's the airtime hill. You get a lot of airtime off that hill. Then a good, nice right banker. Then you get some corkscrews. These are really fun. These are just, they're so fun. They're relatively smooth as well. And then you go around another right bank. Then you're in the tunnel. So, the, like I said, the flashing lights slows down almost to a complete stop. The train starts to accelerate to 70 miles an hour in around three seconds. You, and man, you need to, you'll probably need to close your eyes. You blast out of that, you go up this hill with some brakes at the top stopping you. Go down, you go over the water by the pathway. Go through some more rocks, take that. Then these, these are, these are like, I don't know, they're sweeps. I don't know what they're really called, but th these, those throw you into the wall. Then you got another airtime hill, nice wide right bank, and then you got your brake run. That ride is just, it's just amazing to me. I just love it. This coaster is just amazing. It's relatively smooth. I mean, if you can get past that, it's probably around the same smooth level, uh, smoothness level, maybe a little bit smoother than Magnum XL. It's, it can bang your head a little bit, and the restraints are not the most comfortable in the world. But if you can get past that, this coaster will definitely be in your top five. Well, maybe. It should be. I'm not sure. Me and my friend rode this. We only got to ride it once, but we rode it, and it instantly shot to the top of both of our lists, and we love it. I was really disappointed we couldn't ride it again, but we had to ride all the other coasters, so, yeah. And so, in conclusion, what I was really just trying to... What I was really just trying to accomplish here was really just to tell you about it and inform you and tell you why it's my favorite. And I hope I kind of did that. This thing just pulls some sick airtime, throws you in the wall on many occasions. It's it's rugged. It's not rough. It's rugged. I would say that. It Although it's not huge and it's not super tall, it, this is showing what Intamin can do with their Blitz coasters. They can put, they can like pack such a big punch into such a small package. It's just amazing what they can do. And they, instead of having to make huge big things, with all the small elements, you can get so much air time and just so much fun out of this. So yeah, that, that was my conclusion. Um, like I said, this Maverick it is a Intamin Blitz coaster, 70 miles an hour, 105 feet tall, 95 degree vertical drop. It is located, um, located in the back of Cedar Point at Frontier Town in Sandusky, Ohio. If you ever go there, I highly recommend this to be one of your best because this is, I would say, this is one of the two or three flagship rides of the park. The other two being, well, yeah, the other two being Steve, Steel Vengeance, and um, obviously Top Thrill Drag Street, and maybe Millennium Force if you want to throw that in there. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I, yeah, just thank you for watching. Um, I really do love roller coasters, and I hope that maybe I can make some good roller coaster videos for you guys. But, yeah, um, I'll let you guys watch that one more time with audio. And then, yeah.
you guys so much for watching. Make sure to, if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment on what you want to see next. And um, just thank you guys so much for the support so far. I know I'm still really small, but I still thank you anyway. Um, and yeah, my point here was just Maverick. It's my favorite coaster probably ever. As you can see, it takes number one in my top eight. And yeah, it's just a good, small, really, really, really exciting and really, really just extreme coaster for those coaster enthusiasts out there. But thank you guys for watching and bye.